Hey everyone, this is going to be a quick video to talk about Synology's Security Advisor application and why you should definitely set it up, but also why you might want to take the results with a grain of salt. So in order to access this, you can open up DSM and then you can open the Security Advisor application. As soon as you get to it, I'd suggest that you open up the advanced settings and you can change some of them here. So for the majority of people, I'm assuming that this is going to be for home use, so you can leave that for home and personal use option enabled. But at the bottom there, you can set up a scan schedule, and you can set up a storage location where you can save the reports if you'd like to. So generally, it's probably a pretty good idea to run this on a weekly basis. And if you want to save the report somewhere, you can select a storage location. After that, you can head over to the overview section, and then you can select scan. Now you're going to see it quickly start to scan everything. And what you will find is that it's going to go through and try and find any malware, any of your you know, system settings, et cetera, basically everything that's listed here. Um, but the important thing to understand is the results. Now there's going to be a few things, like you can see here that I have three packages that are out of date. That's more of a warning rather than a problem, but it's something that you should keep in mind because you generally want to keep your packages up to date. Now, as soon as it finishes running, and it's going to take a few minutes to finish running, uh, but as soon as it does, you can head over to the results section, and then you're going to see the different options that it's searching for. So you'll see that I have two issues here. The first is that I'm using SSH, but I'm using the default port. And the second is that I have some packages that are not up to date, which we just talked about a second ago. Now, the thing that you have to understand here is that just because these results do or do not show a problem, that doesn't mean that everything is set up and configured the way that it's supposed to. So at that point, you kind of need to use this in tandem with other things. I have a full series on how you can secure your Synology NAS, and I'll leave a pop-up for that now, and I'll leave the links to those videos in the description. But the reason I'm mentioning that is because if you were to run just the Security Advisor scan and you get back and everything is set as green and everything is good, that doesn't necessarily mean that you're set up the best way that you can be. And you want to kind of follow best practices if you can. And that's what I tried to point out in those videos, and that's why I'd suggest watching them. But on an overall level, you should try and have everything here green. If it's green, you can be somewhat confident that some of the bigger issues are already accounted for, and you're not running into any of them. The other thing that I want to point out here is the login analysis. Now, when you set that up in about 14 days, it will analyze your logins and it will tell you if you have anything to be worried about. Because this is a virtual machine and I just set it up, this is not something that I could show you, unfortunately. Uh, but after you set it up, you'll be able to come in here and you'll see all of your different logins and you'll then be able to see if somebody is logging in from somewhere they're not supposed to be. It's kind of a high level overview to ensure that the people who are supposed to be logging in are logging in and nobody else is logging in. So once again, set this up because you should be running it weekly, but keep in mind that it's not the only things that you have to worry about. There are other best practices that you can follow that will secure your Synology NAS a little further. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks guys.